Ian, I'm sure when you went to bed last night and you were dreaming about what was going to happen in that game, you probably couldn't have wished for any better. It's what we planned for. You know, we we, we planned to make cre uh, create chances. We planned to uh, to put it in areas that would uh, unsettle them. We planned to go and get the ball wide and uh, deliver balls from from wide areas with pace, and um, and we got a rewards for it. And you know, I think tonight was probably a culmination of a, a, a good few weeks' work, and the, and the boys uh, are obviously delighted in there, and I'm uh, I couldn't be any any more happy for them. That's an interesting an interesting tactical observation there because you you left corner. Um, Grant out who'd been doing really well and I think what you've done that because you wanted to obviously pace in the flanks you've identified that was an area you could get at Hamilton and you know Lionel Ainsworth didn't half justify solution Yeah it was it was one where you know everybody knows they've, they've got to be ready and, and Lionel's sat on the bench for a, a few weeks now and he's he's come on for a couple of cameo performances and um, he's been patient he's kept himself right and he uh, he showed tonight that he was uh, he was he was ready and willing and he was definitely able and uh, his first goal was a was a beauty but his second one gave me more pleasure because he was uh, in at the back post where all good wide men should be when the ball's coming in from the opposite side and we've, it's something we've been working on with, with all our wide men and uh, he went and finished off a good move. You mentioned that second goal, Marvin Johnson was instrumental in that and I thought he had a terrific night and yeah. you know, he's maybe been overshadowed by Lionel because he's got the goals and the assist but you know, I, th I thought he was brilliant doing that left flank. He was and he's, uh, again he's been getting better and better, stronger and stronger having come from Kidderminster, the conference, you know, the intensity isn't quite as, uh, as high as, as the Scottish Premiership and he's, he's adapted to that very well and uh, he's, he's, he's putting some good performances together and I think he'll... Uh, you know, he'll be pleased with his night's nice work. I'd love him to, to go and get a, a goal as well, uh, as I would Lee Owen and, and, you know, and, and Scotty McDonald. They deserved it. Um, just shows you John Sutton as well has, has kept the right frame of mind, has come in and bagged a couple of goals that um, you know, only John Sutton can do. He's a goal scorer, isn't he? Um, but again, someone with the, the right mentality that has, has gone and worked hard since he's been out the side. And, um, and I'm sure they'll be uh, eagerly awaiting the next couple of weeks. In the, in the spirit of self-praise, I'm sure you'll also want to uh, also want to acknowledge the defence because we've not had too many clean sheets. In fact, that's the first of 2015, and and probably as a coach, you're probably just as pleased with that as you are with the four goals. Yeah, I was pleased pleased for obviously George, the two centre halves, the, the full-backs there. They work they work hard, but uh, you know we, we win four 0 as a group, uh, and we take pleasure in getting a clean sheet uh, as a, as a as a squad as well as a team, epitomised by by seven or eight players uh, flying back when we were 4-0 up, two minutes to go, they were on the break um, and it meant more to us to, to go and get the ball back, make sure that we averted the danger with, with two and it could have been easy to, to, to switch off and think, yeah, we're okay, we're home and hosed, but um, no, that desire, that, that work ethic was uh, was shining through at that stage. Were you pleased with the patience of your side as well because the first half was a wee bit frustrating at times, you created one or two chances, or I thought Lee Irwin was going to score at the back post, it was a great tackle at the top of them, but your team just didn't didn't panic, yeah. you showed right patience. Yeah, we did, and again, it's something that we've been, been working on, making sure that we're, we're composed at the right times, making sure we don't get um, too ahead of ourselves and too too wound up, and, and you know, we will create chances. Uh, and one or two may go a begging, but when the next one comes, we go and hit the target and make the goalkeeper work, and um, eventually we, we went and did that. You said before the game that you wanted to send the fans home happy, you've done that. You also said you wanted to put pressure on the other teams by posting a result. You've done that in an impressive one, and I'm sure you'll be eagerly you know, anticipating what happens elsewhere, just to see where a lot of the land is come Sunday night. Well, I'll be at a game tomorrow, yeah, and, um, and a game Sunday as well, but... Um you know, I was pleased that tonight there was a great atmosphere. Uh, the, the Motherwell boys were, were bouncing, they were banging the drum. It was uh, it made for a real good... I, I like night games anyway, under the floodlights. Does that help the players? I think it does, yeah, I think it does. I think we, you know, they're in, they're in a rhythm, <laughs> the, the rhythm of the drum, and it's, um, you know, you, you get a bit of momentum, you know that the crowd are backing you, you know that, um, you know, anything that, uh, that goes astray, anything that doesn't quite help... They were backed by, by supporters and, uh, you know, it enables you to then pick yourself up and go and, go and get the next one right. And, um, you know, to send them home happy, you know, 4 nil against the local rivals, you, you can't do much better than that. It's uh, four goals. We haven't scored four all season. Um, clean sheets have been few and far between. I believe that's the biggest uh, win for 35 years over, over the local neighbours. And, um, you know, people can enjoy the weekend. Is it a frustration or a positive for you that now an international break comes? Because they always say when you win, you just want a game tomorrow almost. But I suppose the positive will be we can calm people down a little bit and you can nudge a couple of more guys back to fitness and get some more game time. Yeah, I think we can we can uh, have a couple of quality weeks. Um, you know, it, it 
gives us a chance to go and just have a bit of respite. There's one or two with, with one or two niggles that uh, we were aware of coming into the game, so it'll allow them to, to just uh, rest, recuperate the bodies, get ourselves right and uh, give ourselves a good week again to, uh, to go into the Kilmarnock game. So, that, so next week we'll be uh, um, assessing where we are, getting some, some game time for, for players that, that haven't been playing so much and, um, and then uh, build then towards the Kilmarnock game the following week. I should have asked you earlier on as well. Actually, today's game was the first change, almost the first change in three games with with, uh, with uh, Lionel coming back in. Do you think the consistency of selection, particularly at the back, has helped almost settle guys in because people are getting to know each other's games a little bit? Yeah, it does help. And we said about that relationships between uh, and, and partnerships between players. It is important, um, probably more so with, with back fours. Yeah. You know, again, we've gone and done a lot of defensive stuff. Um, you know, in certain areas of the pitch where we should be. Uh, understanding of each other, uh, who's got pace, who's not got pace, who, how do we, where's our starting positions, and tonight again it was just an improvement again on last week, and um, you know I think we learnt from last week's mistakes as well. We made sure that we uh, we concentrated fully. We we started the second half with a great intensity, uh, which enabled us to go and get the two goals. Uh, we blew them away in the first five five six minutes of that. I think it was, and uh, and got rewards for for knocking on the door. You talked about Sutton coming back in, you talked about Ainsley kind of great, both of my great contributions. You've also got Lawson coming back from fitness, you know, Zane's now fit again, obviously Craig Moore's back, Jack Leach is back as well. You know, there's, there's plenty of competition for places and you must be pleased with that. Uh, there's not there's not too many on the uh, on the treatment table now and that's that, uh, again that's testament to, to how we've gone and uh, dealt with the injuries and the medical side of things, um, the conditioning and performance uh, side of things is uh, is working. Um, you know, I think all the coaching staff, we, they're working very, very hard. We've got a real talented bunch who, uh, who are craving success um, and, and we're getting to know each other as well and, 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 and they're working uh, fantastically. Uh, I can't speak highly enough of the, of the coaching team around us uh, and, and that's one for them tonight as well. Congratulations. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.